Like this is super important, okay? Like really, 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 really important. Donna, I'm back with another video for you guys. All right, you guys. So, um, first off, thank you guys so much for watching and joining me on, on this journey. I really, really appreciate each and every one of you. So thank you guys so much for that. If you have not already done so, go ahead right now. Follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA, or um, you can also just kind of subscribe, you know, like subscribe to my channel right now. Um, that's if you haven't done so. For those of you who have, thank you so much, you guys. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys, like this has really been on my heart, you guys, okay? Like this is super important, okay? Like really, 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 really important. So I've been to, like, I've seen a, quite a few of these interviews done. You know, I've seen some of these, uh, like people who are interviewing. I've been to um, an interview, you know, like actually there and talk to people and such. And let me tell you guys, you guys can interview yourself right out of a PA school acceptance, okay? <laughs> like, so you're at an interview, okay, because they want you. They have seen your application. They want you. They want to accept you to their school, but they just want to make sure. And that is what the actual interview is for, to make sure, hey, although this person looks really, really, really good on paper, let me just make sure that they're all there, right? Let me make sure that everything is working up there, that they're not just like, you know, antisocial personality where, you know, they're like a savant in science and math, but when it comes to people skills, just not cutting it, you know, because you're not gonna necessarily make the best practitioner if your people skills are a little low. Just saying, you know, like, House is an anomaly, like great for, um, you know, viewer, viewership, but when it comes to who I want to be seen by and the physician that I want to take care of me or the PA that I want to take care of me, like I want you to be able to like be personable and actually tell me my prognosis, my diagnosis, everything um, in a really good manner. It's not always what you say, it's how you say it at times. And that is kind of what the interview is about. It's trying to see like, okay, well, how are they gonna answer this question? If they're dealt with this situation, how are they gonna actually handle it? Who's the blame gonna be put on? Um, are they gonna stand up and be like, it was my fault? Or are they gonna try to pass it off to somebody else? And I've seen it done, you guys. I have seen people like you, they have just, interviewed themselves out of the acceptance because they looked really good. They have a really high GPA. They look amazing, right? But they just cannot interview well. So I, please, I tell you guys this all the time, do your research. Look at the faculty at the school. Look at the school and see what they're doing in the community. See what they're doing globally. If they have a global mission, look at that. Actually figure out some questions to ask these people so that you're not looking stupid at the end of the day when they're like, so do you have any questions for us? Because I'm telling you, you're gonna get asked that question. Many schools say, do you have any questions for us? And then you're just like, uh, no. And then you're out the door. And that's the last thing they remember. Your face looking stupid like, uh, no. And then they're gonna be like, uh, no. So that is not what you want, okay, you guys? So please have some questions ready for these people. Also, if you know that you're a weirdo, like, and I mean, and that's fine. Like, I'm a geek at times, and I I own that, and I'm fine, I'm fine with that, right? But if you know that you're, like, a weirdo at times. I'm a crazy weirdo, and I'm calling you. I've really got nothing better to do. Maybe the majority of the time. Crazy weirdo, and I'm calling you. But you want to be a PA. Like, don't be a weirdo on the day of your interview, okay? Be personable. Work on that mess. Like, you might know a month or three weeks ahead of time. If you know two weeks ahead of, ahead of time, a week ahead of time, maybe you might need, like, a little bit more, like, some serious, serious help because I don't know if, like, you'd be able to kind of adjust your personality by then. But if you have a month to work on your personality, do so. Please, like, practice smiling. <laughs> 
a smile guys a smile will help practice smiling in the mirror so that you're not looking like a weirdo okay figure something out because you're trying to get into pa school you want this right you want this so bad you want it as much as you want to breathe when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe then you'll be successful right so if you want that please work on it you have to because you're not going to go into school because trust and believe you're being interviewed not just by the people that you're seeing like the the actual like professors and the director of the programs if they're sending students in you're being interviewed by those students if you see the um custodian in the hallway cleaning you're being interviewed by that custodian as well like oh man like you know they didn't say hi they didn't talk to me i was nobody to them that kind of thing you know everybody matters so when you're walking in there from the time you walk in that building you are being critiqued and you're being interviewed so what i need you guys to do is to realize that understand that understand the importance of this because this is life changing this is you possibly starting your career the um, um, an amazing career that you are going to be in for a large long period of time and you can be interviewing yourself out of it because you didn't do your research or because you're acting really creepy in the corner and you're not talking to anyone or because you're like being super loud and obnoxious and who wants the loud and obnoxious person um in their school i mean not me i don't I, I don't know who does but those are some things guys so please please do your research kind of like adjust your personality if you know that you're odd and you're weird try to figure that out be very grateful be grateful for the interview i mean i don't know how to say it enough don't go in there thinking like oh like i deserve this i'm here because I did something. I mean, you didn't have to get an interview. They're in, they're seeing hundreds of applicants, so thousands of applicants, and you're maybe one of a couple hundred that are getting offered interviews. So be grateful for that. Show that gratitude. Be humble, you guys. Also, please. I mean, I it's I think it's just a nice little gesture to do the whole. Give a little thank you net low note at the end. Leave that for the people that interviewed with you, um, you, that you interviewed for, the professors there, because that just shows a little something. But also, this is like maybe another, like my number one thing, right? Don't be super nervous. <sighs> 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 I see these people like they're, they're, they come out, they're really, really nervous, really scared. And then that kind of just brings the rest of their interview down the drain. Don't do that. Okay, you guys, you're there because they want you. Okay, they want you. So therefore, don't be all scared and nervous when you're going in to do your interview. Don't be scared and nervous when you come out because that's going to show. And they're going to be like, I don't know if you're ready for this type of thing because maybe you're stuttering on your statements that you're trying to answer the question with and you're you just don't know what you're talking about so don't do that but those are like my tips because honestly i've seen it happen i don't want it to happen to any of you in the future i just want everybody to get into pa school and have a great time so please 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 do your research don't be a weirdo leave some thank you notes don't be super nervous and you will be fine okay but don't Interview yourself out of a PA school slot. Please, don't do it, all right? If you get an interview, this is your opportunity to show that you are meant for this PA thing and um, they should absolutely take you. So do your best and go for it. That was it, woo! Oh my goodness, you guys. Like, I'm over here like on a little tangent soapbox for you guys because cause it's so sad when I see this happen, when I see these people kind of just like ruin it for themselves. But hopefully this video can be some motivation for you guys. Hopefully it will help some of you in the future. And you know, anybody that's probably going on an interview very soon, please, please just do those simple tips. Really, really do your research. Um, that will help you out tremendously. Not, not everybody's gonna be able to like not be super nervous, but you can absolutely be prepared. Okay, all right.
right, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA. And um, leave your comments in the comment section below. What do you think? Maybe you have been on an interview and you saw somebody interview themselves out of a PA school seat. So you can leave that little story in the comment section below as well. And if you have any questions, leave that down in the comment section below as well for me. And I will be sure to get back to it. All right, thank you guys again, and I will talk to you guys next time.